It's educating and exciting, solution driven show. Welcome to Youth Engage. Youth Engage, showing on Salvation TV. Hello, my name is Mark Miracle, and it's a pleasure to welcome you on today's episode of Youth Engage Show on Salvation TV. We are talking about the social media and internet addiction. On today's heavily interconnected world, the social media does not just play the role of entertainment or connectivity with friends and family. It has also been incorporated by organizations, enterprises as a marketing tool. The social media has helped several institutions to market their products, goods and services. And the question is, what are you doing out there on social media? And we all know that the Facebook, Pinterest, WhatsApp, Instagram, all put together are topping a market value of over $285 billion. The money is swinging out there, but the question is what are you doing in the midst of this unseen world? Let's go ask some people what they are doing on social media. Come with me. Hello, my name is Mark Miracle, talking about the social media and internet addiction. And I'm standing with Mr. Wisdom. So what can you say about the social media and all of the internet addiction? And social media, I feel, it's what is a it's what makes this nation now more digital. It makes things, it makes information and communication easier and faster. So um, I cannot say it cannot be its importance cannot be overemphasized because because it is good, except excess of it. How 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 long do you spend on a social media in a day on a scale of from one to ten? One to ten. Let me say four hours. In these four hours, do you only just disseminate? Do you disseminate informations or you read informations? Uh, I I read and I also disseminate information. So you're a citizen journalist. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Uh, what disadvantage have you seen from the social media apart from the information you get? Its advantages um, over the years, it has been reducing because. The more people get get to know about social media, and the more they are enlightened, they know the advantages better than disadvantage. That is, it is, it is when it came out earlier that it was a more of a disadvantage. But now, people use it more for advertisements. On um, on um, for a month, how much? Like how much do you spend for your data subscription? <laughs> is wow! I cannot. Uh, can I can't. Just, can we just get maybe five thousand upwards? Uh, let me see. Yeah, five and upwards. Have you ever thought that you can make money from social media? I've thought about it. So do you make money from social media? Mm, I get connections from there, but not money, not making money actually okay. yet. Okay, but at least you can start from advertising your business there. Yes. That's an idea. Yes. So it's a nice time with you. God bless you so much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Eh? Welcome to you. Youth Engage, showing on Salvation TV. Hello, it was indeed an exciting moment out there in the street. I know you did enjoy yourself. Like you all know, we always have that special guest in the studio that helps us in each of the episodes to answer questions and to sum up the program. Today, we have an internet guru and the person of Mr. Prince Namde to help us with this very session. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Mr. How was Mark. the drive down here, sir? It was fine, thank you. Sir, to start the show quickly, the use of social networking sites such as the Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter are the cornerstone of modern communication. At what point would you say that this network, social networking site has become abused? By the users okay um first thing the developers of these social networking sites like facebook instagram twitter they they openly admitted that the number one goal of this site is to keep you engaged because without you the user engagement they don't make any money a social network cannot thrive on just a few users so mm -hmm. they have to develop things to keep you coming back that's why they create apps for different platforms like your mobile phones your laptops and all of that and uh, they tend to always improve on features you know yeah. like uh, the Facebook previously we just could only like a particular picture Pictures, yeah. or comment on it but now we could like love, love you know set up some emojis yes. and do a lot of things yeah. you know all of this is just to 
you know, keep the user interacted, you know, keep the user engaged get for long more, periods of time. Get more addicted. Exactly, yeah. So I, I think at, at the point where you begin to realize that much of your time is being devoted into your social networking accounts or the social media in general, at that point, uh, one can say you're actually getting addicted to it. So the back view of what you are saying is that at the the more the users get addicted, the more the developers get paid. Yes, exactly. That's the main purpose of developing a social network. They want money. They want to grow their platform. And they can't do that with maybe you come in, you use it, and then you go away forever. It never thrives on that. So they want you to keep coming back every time. Okay, Mr. Prince, would you help us draw a line between abuse and addiction? Okay, uh, to draw a line between abuse and addiction, uh, there has to be control because you could be, you could abuse something, you could use something for a purpose that wasn't meant to be, and at the same time, when you're done, you pack up and move. But at the same time, when you're addicted, you 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 exhibit uh, a psychological weakness. Mm -hmm. You know that you find yourself in a situation where you cannot resist the urge to carry out a particular act. You know, like social media, for example. But with control, I think that's the the thin line between these two um, words. Words here yeah. with control. Can you can you give an instance to okay. abuse and addiction? Okay, you could um. You could abuse something, you could use a social uh, networking account to do something that it wasn't meant to be used for, you know? And at the end of the day, it, it doesn't eat into your time. It doesn't uh, affect you in any other way. But at the same time, if you're addicted to always being on Instagram, looking at pictures and doing a lot of things, you find out that you don't have the self-control over it. In fact, it's at this point, you're not using the social uh, media. It's actually using you. Because you see people, uh, they, they can't even do, they can't go an hour without checking their social media accounts, even while eating, while driving. If a notification sound comes up, they're all about knowing what was that, who is messaging them, and stuff like that. So with control, I think uh, you can actually build a bridge between the two of them. One who builds uh, a fake profile on Facebook is that an abuse or an addiction it's it's an abuse it's an abuse because uh, one it's fake it's not yours so you're abusing the idea of having a social media account you know it's it's an abuse okay when we return we are going to discuss on the impact of social media in our lives let's take a short break Join our online community via social media as God's servant David Ibiomi brings the word of God life to you. Join us on Facebook as Salvation Ministries and David Ibiomi for daily inspirational quotes, prophecies and captivating posts. Follow us on Twitter at David Ibiomi as he shares inspirational thoughts and prophetic prayers and on Instagram at David Ibiomi for mind nourishing and captivating posts that will change your life forever. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Hour of Salvation to watch many of our messages, miracles, and prophetic declarations. For more details and worshipping online, log on to www.smhos.org. Join millions of followers around the world today. Go follow. Welcome to Youth Engage. Youth Engage, showing on Salvation TV. Welcome back from that short break. Mr. Prince, I would want to ask, what are the impact of this social networking site? Okay, um, social networking, social media has a very uh, great and important impact on our day-to-day -day activities, both positively and negatively. Negatively, uh, we like the the topic we're discussing today, addiction, it's one of the impacts. Secondly, uh, the case of cyberbullying mm. is also a very uh, strong concern in social media and our daily lives. We have other problems like um, privacy issues. Uh, we have issues like uh, uh, there are really a lot of uh, negative aspects if you begin to list all of them out but uh, the positive outweighs the negative because okay. yeah because social media has been one a tool for communication yes yes you can uh, 
communicate with different people in different parts of the world within minutes. Secondly, it has bridged the cultural gap. Also, it has been used as a tool for commercialization yes. for businesses and uh, to promote a brand and uh, a lot of other different um, um, positive impacts. So I would say for for sure that it has a great impact in our life. Uh, could you speak more on the internet bullying? Okay, on internet bullying, um, that has been uh, an issue that has been existing right from the very onset of the internet. I think it's only of recent that it uh, was being tackled because now you have moderation. On a, on a simple Facebook comment or post, you could report and have moderation on it and yes, all of that. and get it pulled down. Yes, correct, exactly. If you feel someone is abusing you yes. in one way or the other, you could uh, report that comment to the support team or whoever, and they look into it. So it, it has been right there in the onset. Uh, it has even led to issues where you hear of cases of cyberbullying leading to suicide yes. and some other things, violence and all all of those. So it's um, something that has been existing right from the onset of the internet, from social media and the likes. Okay, apart from the negative uh, effect of the social networking site, okay. we know it aids in communication and all the rest, but yeah. the information were passed in the, in, the, in the communication per se, the informations were passed. Sometimes they do not possess moral values. Most people get spoiled online True. daily, on a on daily basis. How, what can you say about this and how can it be controlled? Okay. Um, firstly, uh, the social media, just like every other platform, like your TV, uh, newspaper, and all of that, you could expose yourself to whatsoever content that uh, you want because in my social media account for example what the content I see depends on who I'm following the pages I'm subscribed to True. and all of those I can't go and subscribe to something I'm not interested or to uh, a brand that is known for carrying negative uh, news or reports immoral. or propaganda yes. or immoral information yes yeah. so I think it all has to do with fine-tuning what you actually expose yourself to in the social media you know you limit your circle of friends you could be subscribed to a particular person your friend and because of the type of content he or she is dishing out you could decide to block the person mm. okay so i think in that aspect it all depends on our choices yes your to, choice to to point out who what you are actually want following to and what exactly. you want to see and what you do not want to to see to exactly, see yeah. sometimes our children are not being monitored everyone use the smartphone these days yeah. could you give a word of advice to any parent watching now on how because i know from for instance on a TV screen, you would you could always decide to lock some channels yeah. to make sure that your children don't tune into such channels. So how can a parent have this parental control, control. over the social media site? Okay, now, um, in that aspect, I think it's the duty of the parents to take an extra step towards safeguarding the kid because uh, inevitably, at one point or the other, the kid is going to be exposed to such, yes. either through a friend or through something they just uh, came about. So firstly, I think it's the duty of the parents to set up a social media account for the kid so that as you're setting it up, you set up what you want. You, you still have that overview. You can still come in, view what the, the child is it's looking doing. at, yeah, who he or she is subscribed yeah. to. And you can decide, uh, I don't want you to be following this page. I don't want you to be communicating with this person, et cetera, et cetera. So the parent still has a major role to play towards safeguarding the kid from the dangers of uh, social media. Okay. From a mental perspective, there are negative impacts to the health and well-being of the social networking site users. When we come back from this short break, we would look into that. Do stay engaged. Youth Engage, showing on Salvation TV. Hello, my name is Mark Miracle from the Youth Engage show Salvation TV, and we are talking about the social media and internet addiction. What can you say about internet addiction, sir? Oh, uh, okay. My um, actually, uh, my name is Mr. Goswi Mene. Uh, the word internet 
addiction is uh, something uh, kind of um, what you are addicted to do or what you are addicted to the word addiction speaks of something negative or something positive but when someone is uh, addicted to a thing it it, it can be uh, it, you can abuse it or uh, at the other way around you can also influence it can also influence it so so from your definition from a scale of one to ten okay. how long do you spend on the internet on the, in a day oh in a day i can spend like uh, two hours uh, depends on what i'm doing on the internet you disseminate information or you you read information from the internet okay on social media okay i do the both i i disseminate and also read information from the internet and do you I'll verify your sources before you disseminate information definitely i do uh because because i would liken you to a citizen journalist oh actually if you say so but i do uh before i reply to a any comment on the internet i have to take my time and study the the the, the written words very well before i can reply back what do you think are the adverse effects of the social media to our uh, uh, to the society okay uh, actually it um, based on um, I, I want to say in two aspects of it one it influences our society whereby you can get more information about uh, 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 you can get more information from the internet you can also get either positive information or the negative or the negative information several ills has happened in the society issues of rape kidnap yes, and yes, all yes. and several of these persons that are fell victim we are tracked through the social media yes what would you say to this effect and what advice do you give to people that are on social media okay um number one advice i want to say this that uh, before any information is being uh, uh, circulated on the social media you have to be extremely careful because out of there people get uh, uh, people can reach out of people can reach reached you on the social media so before any uh, any information is being circulated on the social media everyone has to be extremely careful on how you circulate your information your final advice to everyone watching you out there because okay. i do know that many people make money from the social media yes. whereas some whereas some people spend money on the social media yes. so what do you have to say to this effect before we close the interview okay thank you very much uh number one advice i want to say to the people out there is that Whatever you're doing on the internet, uh, you have to be extremely wise and also be extremely observant because uh, out of it, you can make money from there. Out of it, uh, uh, people can also make money from you, uh, both two sides, either negative aspect of it or positive, positive aspect of it. But for the listeners, be extremely careful the way you get information from the internet. Okay, before I close the interview with Mr. Godswin, another security tip for you if you're a social media freak like some of us always check your phone the location uh, on setting yes. always keep it off uh, maybe you like to update your locations or where you are always locate to, uh, you can post your locations when you are already going out from such locations you don't post your locations when you are on your way to the place that's it off your locations always on your phone when you get to the place you are going and when you are leaving you can then post that you were that's in social place yes. that's the security tips and there is a lot more you can learn in the studio let's go back to the studio it's educating and exciting, solution driven show. Welcome to Youth Engage. Youth Engage, showing on Salvation TV. You're welcome back from that short break. Mr. Prince, sure. please, what are the negative impacts of the social networking site on our mental health? Okay, um, firstly, anything that is an addiction always has a negative impact, you know. Firstly, uh, it eats into our time, our resources, our emotions, especially. You find uh, people feeling uh, very emotional about their social media accounts, you know. Yeah. Why is nobody... Liking my post. <laughs> correct example, yeah. Why is nobody... Why are three people just liking my post? My post and I have 5,000 friends. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and if you, this other person just uh, uploaded something five minutes ago and they mm. have 300 likes, does it mean she's more popular than me? What am I doing wrong? That all boils down to personality and brand building which we'll talk about in another topic okay yeah, yeah. so <laughs> so that's uh, a typical example of how it affects uh, the well-being of a person uh, and also we should also take note that anything let me use uh, social media for example it's free yes so and the fact that it's free you the user are the product okay so one way or the other you're paying for it of course yes so and uh, another area 
where uh, this affects people psychologically is the fear of being left out in communication. You know, you feel if you don't have your devices for one hour, mm. you've missed the happening events yes, that happen in town throughout that yes. one hour, and you feel backdated and Others, that kind of yeah. thing. And also, there's the issue of uh, uh, fake lives that people live on social media. You ah. know. That, that's very, very common. It's you know. becoming alarming by the yes, day. Yes, very, very important. You see people... And and your followers, sometimes, you can imagine a scenario where someone takes a picture with a car that doesn't belong to him and just decides to write, I just got a new car. <laughs> and maybe you, you are in the same level with the same person. And if you are someone who doesn't con control your feeling, uh, you are, how does the Bible put it, um, covetous. If you are so covetous, oh, you'll be like, what? So yeah. this guy got a car and I'm here, what am I doing? Some people actually, I know people who go through this. Yeah. Some female folks, they take some good picture. And this time around, our smartphone come with a, a filters. Yes. That you yes. snap, you look so beautiful. So beautiful. And that uh, you don't even see the pimples <laughs> in their faces. Yeah. And you post and people in some, some other corner are dying like. Yes. Uh, it really, really affects True. us. So yes. what advice do you give to people listening now? to make sure that they don't get affected emotionally because of what we see out there on social media? Okay, uh, firstly, I would say we stay away from uh, those activities that make us feel that way. You know, using Instagram for an example, uh, in Instagram, everybody looks successful. We all know this. Ah. Everybody looks successful on Instagram. Every picture, you think people are balling, people are happening, but that's not the real truth, you yes. know. And ever since that trend came about on Instagram, I gradually left there because at one point, you begin to feel like, why are these people trying to impress everybody by doing this and all of that? So uh, I think the, the best thing is to have a mindset that what am I coming to this social network now to do? Am I coming to pass time? Am I coming to uh, look at who is successful or who is not? Am I coming to emulate what these people are doing? You know, if you can have a mental uh, idea of what you're checking on that particular media account, then I don't think there's any way that you would be swayed away or be... Uh, taken into that deep hole of thinking you're not balling. Yeah, in as much as the social media has degenerated or generated itself to this level, whichever way you see it, I still believe that there are so many values out there that you can pick out from. For instance, you can make money from the social networking site, which is not our major discussion on today's show. For sure, we will come back to this show again with a social media related topic on how to build your brand and how to make money from the social networking side. But let's take a look at that. Let's just discuss a little bit of that. How would you advise people to move away from spending on data and channel on making money from the social networking site? For instance, I, I think I would testify that I have made quite a lot from the social media myself okay. because I am a social media uh, friendly person. Okay. So I learned quite a, a few things and I put them to use and I think in a positive aspect it has helped me a lot. Yes. What would you say to the people viewing now on how to make good use of the social media and how to make money from the social media? Okay, uh, firstly you have to cut down on the time you spend on social media, okay. very important. Secondly, uh, you begin to, you have to begin to realize what you actually like about using a particular platform. You have to recognize things you can monetize in a particular platform. You have to look at yourself, you know, also, uh, are you a businessman? Are you a businesswoman? Did you just start a business recently? You could actually promote your business on the social media because it's just like having a store in the streets with people you know, you understand. I feel more confident buying something from someone I know than from a random person, yeah. so you're more likely to um, have people patronize you. Yes. Yeah. If you patro if you use the social media to advertise your services, your followers are actually your customers. Very exact. Yes. Yeah. And uh, also, if you uh, tend to post pictures about a particular niche or something, you could actually uh, link up with some services that would fine tune. They will get you a particular. Let's say, for example, you you like cars. 
you know, you like to post about cars on your social media, you could actually subscribe to a service where you can have uh, car companies or service centers or car dealers also come to your page to patronize you. You know, they have you post some things from them and then they monetize, they, they pay you a certain amount and all of that. There are various ways you could actually make money off social media. Like you all have heard, there are various ways to make money from the social media. But our topic today is tied to the social media and internet addiction. When we return back on this show, we'll be discussing on this. Internet integrities, that is a social, how to build your brand, how to make money from social media, how to build your content, and how to retain your followers. That is not all we are going to be discussing today because the time is no longer our friend. And I would want to once again appreciate you on behalf of myself, the Youth Engaged team, the Salvation TV team, and the wonderful women and men behind the cameras would want to say once again, thank you, Mr. Prince Nandi, for honoring our invitation. You're welcome. We do believe that someday in the future, you will drive down here again as we finish up this very broad topic of discussion. Thank you very much. Pastor David Ibiome said, and I quote, lazy people discuss problems why creative people discuss solution at the youth engage show we always make our time to discuss solutions to the issues that affect the youth in today's society i know you've learned quite a lot from our topic of discussion today the social media slash internet addiction do find that time to read more on this topic on the social media platform instead of just scrolling through pictures i know you will make it a date again to hang out here with us next week same station, same time. My name is Mac Miracle. Do stay engaged the whole of the week. Bye. It's educating and exciting, solution driven show. Welcome to Youth Engage. Youth Engage, showing on Salvation TV. That's why you went to school. So I think the problem is coming from the youth. The people that rule this country, they are still the people today. It is the youth who know well enough of today that can take charge of tomorrow.